Hi guys, welcome to the Saving Money Show with me, your host Sean. Well, what is there to say about the last couple of days except we have a sea of red and what do we do when it's a sea of red? Do we just wait for it to turn to green? No. What we do is we come up with a playbook. Now, this is why having a barbell portfolio and a few other YouTubers did the same. And if you didn't uh, get into a barbell portfolio, then there was other things I spoke about doing in preparation. And one of those is taking profits, having money on the side for when a day like this comes. Now, of course, not everyone did that. They just wanted to put all their money in to maximise their profits. And I understand that. But then that means on a day like today, that means on a day like today, you're one of the people, sorry about that, you're one of the people who doesn't have the capital to uh, capitalise on this. Now, the other thing I spoke about was how do you avoid the getting caught up or actually listening to people who are saying sell, sell, sell and actually selling your stocks so that you end up selling good stocks along with the bad in order to raise capital to buy other stocks or in order to insulate yourself. Well, if you remember, I've said it time and again, when you are, and I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, but this is for the people who haven't seen those videos. Basically, if you're spending all this time researching a company, do not let it go to waste. Write down on a spreadsheet or on a notepad the reason you're buying this stock. So on a day like today, you can... Uh, that way you can always revert back to that information on a day like today and see why you originally bought into the stock and it can uh, give you the peace of mind and remind you as well as that you can as long as the fundamentals haven't changed nothing no hurdles have been thrown up with that stock to change change it such as lawsuits or whatever you know or suddenly like luck in coffee a fraud case then you can be safe in your knowledge a perfect example was I was going to I bought a stock it had gone up a couple of dollars it traded sideways no one was talking about it, no one's doing anything. I thought, well, I'll sell it, I've made a couple of dollars and then reinvest it somewhere else. But then I've gone back to my book and seen the reason I've gone in there great balance sheet, great income, you know, good dividend, good all rounder. It's just no one else was buying it. So I sat on it. And about a month later, uh, some high up investors went into it and then the stock started moving. You, and you find that if you do your research well enough, the great Warren Buffett actually said you want to get in before institutions, but sometimes you do it so well you get in 
so far ahead that it will take a long time before these institutions come into it. So rather than selling stocks, you should be using this as an opportunity to buy more stocks, either average down or those stocks that you failed to buy at the right price. Look at them now, review them and see if they're a good enough price to buy in now. Uh, another example, EA. I needed the money to go into, because I was going in heavy on Tesla and Amazon, and the I sold EA at ninety dollars a share. I regretted doing selling it because I thought it was a great company but at the same time I made more money by selling it however I always had it at the back of the mind oh, did I do the right thing for a bit of short term gain EA has come down to 70 76, 78 now with my profits from the Tesla split when I sold at 500 I Bought back in the Tesla at 444 when it dropped, then at 400 and then at 380, 390, I think it was. And then with what was left over, I bought six shares in EA. I also bought some others such as Lemonade at 47, Rocket at 24. But you have to find the companies that you want. You know, you can't just go blindly by an idiot on the internet like me you need to do your own research that is why you need to learn to do your own research if you don't if and I know there's plenty of people who don't from some of the comments I've had in the past but I know a lot of you guys do know how to read a balance sheet and do know how to do your own research because for anyone that isn't subscribed uh, but watches and 54% of you uh, haven't subscribed you'll see from certain subscribers how we keep each other in informed of certain movements with stocks and uh, how it we like a little family so if you want to subscribe welcome to the Saving Money Show family you can ask me to look into any stock you want and I do upload a lot of videos I know and I understand if you don't want to hit the bell notification because it can be annoying, but don't forget to comment in the box below. It does help with the YouTube algorithm and it does help if you hit the like button, getting the video out to more people. There's links in the description below to videos you may have missed. There's also links in the description to free trading platforms where you get a free share for depositing a small amount and uh, signing up. I also have links to other freebies or if you're just looking to buy something on Amazon help support the channel but if you don't want to that's fine as well I'm happy with you watching hopefully I'll earn your subscription or your like somewhere in the future anyway I'll see you in, in the next video this is just a short one for now saying do not panic. This is just some of the funds profit taking. This is also, and it's correcting the. Uh, it's correcting the shares. We need a correction. We can't have it.
going up another 10 20 30 percent straight away it needs a bit of sideways action and it needs to come down a bit if it all of a sudden goes straight up then it will be a bubble that's why I said before take profits move some of it into some of the dividend stocks into some recovery stocks you you've seen some of the cruise liners going up some of these recovery stocks going up anyway that's all for now stay safe stay heavy stay investing i'll see you later